Hi, this is Tyson, and you're watching another JavaScript vignette. Today we're going to be taking our uh, app we've been working on in our previous episodes, and we are going to uh, turn it into to use styled components instead of the uh, style sheets that uh, React Native gives you out of the box. So um, to get started with style sheets, we need to go into our terminal, and we need to npm install styled components. And you can do dash D, so that will save it as a develop de development dependency here in package.json. You see here we just got the style components added. So now if I go into my app.js, I can import the style components. So I'll start out by importing the provider. You need to wrap the uh, provider around your style components so that you can pass in your theme and everything. I'm going to import provider from stock components slash native. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable live reload so that this will reload as I'm doing things. So now I need to wrap my uh, entire app with, with the uh, provider. And actually, I just remember it is called theme provider, not just provider. So, change it to theme provider. And the theme provider expects a property called theme. So let's make it an empty object for now. So that reloads, and nothing's changed. So that's a good thing. So uh, the theme um, is a way that you can pass in an object of uh, theming options, and that, those will be available to your components as you work on things. So um, I'm actually going to make an external file called uh, theme.js. I'm just going to export an object, and then in my app I'm going to import that. So I'm going to import theme from native slash themes. Um, stage slash theme actually. Okay, so now we're going to go into our listing view, and you see how we have um, the stylesheet.create. So the way the styled components works is instead of having an object that you're creating and passing on to your components as a style prop, you're actually creating new components um, using styled components. So what we're going to do is we're going to import styled from styled components slash native. And so now we can create a new component. So for example, we're going to take this uh, list item. The list item is, uh, actually we'll start with the container that's at the top. So the container is, uh, that actually has no style attached to it. So we can actually remove that. And the list item, um, instead of having a view list item, we're actually going to create a new component called list item. So we'll just replace this view with list item. So now we're going to make a new, a new const called list item. And that's going to be a styled view, styled.view. And uh, we're going to take all of these properties that we had on our old list item uh, style and we're going to update them for the correct format for style components, which this is basically going to look like CSS, a lot more so than just the objects you had before. So anything that was camel cased before is going to become um, dash cased. Um, take out any uh, any quotation marks, and all of your commas need to be removed, and you'll have semicolons at the end of everything. So margin, dash bottom, flat flex dash direction and align dash items. So 
So now I can remove my list item. And actually, I, this has to be uh, four separate properties, list out components. So left, right, bottom, and top. All right, so now we have um, the exact same view we had before, um, but this particular component is a style component now. So we can just go through the same process and uh, replace all the rest of these really fast. So we'll take a, we'll start with the image. And you can actually, um, style components let you do dot and then uh, the name of a React component that they give you out of the box. But if you have a custom component, you can actually pass it in like this as, um, as a function. So you pass in the component and then, and then define it. Um, so you can use that to actually um, compose multiple styles together also. So we're going to take the profile image, the width of 50, and height of 50. And we can remove that one. And we'll take the name. So we actually need to change this to profile image. We'll take the uh, name component. Style dot view, or actually style dot text, I believe. Let's take the bio. Actually, the bio is not on here anymore, so we don't have to use that. So there should not be any more styles. I'll enter with this. And now we can actually remove the styles altogether. We can remove the uh, style sheet that we're importing because we don't need that anymore. I'm not using text anymore, so we can take that out. I'm not using image anymore, so we can take that out. So you can see we're importing a lot less from React Native, and we're relying on style components to do a lot more. So now we have kind of a much more cleaner separation of concerns. Um, this listing view doesn't know anything about styles whatsoever. It's just defining the components, and the components are style components, so they, they know about the styles, but the listing component doesn't know anything about them. And so um, that's basically how you do it. Um, and, uh, and so then you can, uh, you can using your, uh, using your uh, theme that you've created, which we'll look at in the next episode, you can actually define um, these variables um, from, from a theming perspective so that you could switch it out for another theme. But we'll look at that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Tyson.